Flight Simulator, okay. stream guys I know I said I wasn't gonna go live and uh then I'm like you know what we're gonna go live <laughs> um but also it's cause this trial is awesome <laughs> and I, I I love this trial so yeah also it's raining I don't know if you guys can hear it I wouldn't be surprised if you So we start Alright Let's do it So for those of you who don't know This is the last trial of Trials and Tribulations Bridge to Turnabout this trial has the, the most impactful story of any trial I've seen. But usually the last trial, usually the last trials are really good, so. Let's get started. <laughs> I, I love this trial. Actually, I think we're really close to getting to this trial. And, uh, I, I was re-watching it, the anime. Um, and I think we were watching it mostly all day. I think we're, uh, we're close to finishing it. Um, so, so fun times. Anyways. Hey, Nick! Yeah, what is it? You know I've got, uh, you know, you know how I've got spiritual powers unlike you? Um, sure. You are a spirit medium after all. But just like you, if I don't keep up my powers sharp, they adult, right? Um, I guess so, yeah. What, what are you going on about? Glad you agree. Okay, Pearly, you're up. Girls? So, this is, um... Hmm. So, that's why we need to go on our spiritual hot our spiritual hotspot tour, Mr. Nick. Uh-huh. I'm lost, but... I'm usually lost. Uh... 
What's this nice thing you're shoving in my face? It's the new issue. It's the new year's issue of Old Cult Winter uh, Winter Special Location Special. Bacon, welcome. <laughs> oh, girls look so happy. Maximize your spirit. Maximize your spiritual powers with one night of intense training. Oh, it's only a good. It sounds too good to be true. I'll say it sounds more like a scam to me. It's at the spiritual retreat. I okay. I wasn't sure if I was spelling it right, but I knew I, okay, I was. It's a spiritual retreat called House of Temple. It's way up in the mountains. I bet it's nice and cool. Just perfect for training. No, I definitely don't want to go. You know, I think I've heard of this temple before. It's been, uh, it's a famous channeling dojo. It's hard, it's hard for even a real, it's hard for even real, uh, real spirit mediums to make, like us to make reservations up there. I mean, she's, she's nine, but that's technical, t technical details. Um... I mean, I don't know. Do you really think they're gonna change the sprites? Burly! Oh my god. I'm curious what's gonna happen. I mean, I want to say they're around, I think, like, it's a very little height difference is, like, when they're, like, not eight, nine, ten. Reservations? For a temple? Are you kidding me? Don't worry! I've already made a special re reservation just for us! Well, again, if you want to be technical. Nineteen. Dead. Unknown. Nine! <laughs> uh, Maya is ten years older than bro. Um, yeah. Now, let's go through it again. Nineteen, dead, unknown, nine. <laughs> yeah, I signed up for the special course. That's nice, and the timing couldn't be better. Since we don't have a case right now, anyway. Alright then, it's settled. Well, come on, don't just stand there. Start packing your stuff. Yeah, Mr. Nick, you better start packing your stuff. Uh-huh. Me? Why do I have to go? Uh, actually, no. Um, I think he's... 30... Late 30s? I actually don't know how old he is. Well, I mean... Deceased. Dead. Same word. I uh, know, I think he's like 37. Uh, this is actually the trial where you find out why he has white hair. And it's kinda sad. I, I love this trial, I don't- I don't want to do the actual ending though. No. Anyways. Oh, <laughs> uh, me! Why do I have to go to this? Well, we have to be accompanied by someone over 20 years old. Hey! I don't have anything to do with spirit power, I only- the only thing I can do is- uh, is channeled this TV. <laughs> Godot. Yeah, it's... It's kind of- it's pronounced like it's Godot, uh, so like, it'd be like... I guess that's how you- that's how I would think to pronounce it. I- I'm going how the anime pronounces it. Godot. Prosecute for Godot. His backstory is really interesting. <laughs> I love his backstory. I'm sad, but it's really good. So, um, is there a heated pool of this house of Kura temple? No, but you can stand under a freezing waterfall. <sighs> yeah, no, that's how you pronounce it. It's the the T silent. Sorry, I think I'll pass. I hate cold places. What? No way! How can you be so selfish? Come on, Mr. Nick. It looks. It, uh, look, look at this place. Is, doesn't it look beautiful? Nope, not going. And I'm gonna be nice and toasty at home. What the? That's how it's pronounced. The T is just silent. 
What is it, Mr. Nick? Let me see that magazine. This, this nun. Is she a friend of yours or something, Nick? This girl. It's... <laughs> Sorry, they're from my mouth. Oh, for those of you who weren't here last night when we streamed this, we did a uh, turn about beginnings. Where we met a defense attorney, Diego Armando. And it was Mia's first trial. Oh, and, and this bitch was in it too. Um, so, for those of you who were here from episode one, because it's the second trial that appears first. She, um... She... I, I, I know her. She's a bitch. I know what she's done. Lance, I don't think, really understood why he hated her until the end of the trial, where, you know, she she convinced the gu our, our defendant to commit suicide. You know, fun times! Uh, but point is, yeah, uh, he, she, she's a bitch. Big bitch. Hi. Can you get off screen, please? But it can't be. She was found guilty and she, she should still be in prison. Mr. Nick? Uh, I'll go. Uh huh? How's Kara Temple? I said I'll go. Yay! Isn't that great, Burley? Yes! Oh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Nick. You'll do anything for Mr. Meyer, right? Even walk over burning pools, right? Yeah. That's exactly why I'm going. Talia Hawthorne. Oh, I knew there was no way she could possibly go be at the temple. So, welcome back. Oh, are those just... The surviving will be pies? Oh no, that's <laughs> Besides other things, how's your doing, Galaxy? How did the- did you end up- oh no, you couldn't get your stream back up. I knew there was no way she could possibly- I, I knew there was no way she could possibly be at that temple. But I just had to see for myself who this nun really was. February 7th, 3.24pm, Hasakura Temple, Main Gate. <laughs> it's it's so cold here, Nick. Maybe you should have put something warmer on for a change. Well, it's supposed to be cold. It's it's training. That's you. Her teeth are chattering so loudly. It's all I can it's all I can do to make out what she's saying. Wow, Mr. Nick. Uh, wow, Mr. Maya. This so this is the famous Hasakura Temple. Uh, apparently, I. It's you. Do I give you? What kind of a voice do you think I should give her? Well, well, well. How oh, nice to see you here. Well, I don't know if I can do higher. Well, well, well. Sure, do that voice. Thank you. It's you. <laughs> you have the perfect voice. You do it. Well, I'm gonna do mine then, cause I don't know if I can go that high. <laughs> oh my my my! Thank you for coming all this way. Come on now. You must have you you must have been cold. Oh, 
Well, we're high up in the mountains after all. In any case, we shouldn't speak here. Please, follow me inside. Uh, thank you. I was starting to... Okay. Oh, yes, yes, I almost forgot to introduce myself. I'm the head now at the temple. My name is Bikini. But bikini That's right! Actually, it's about my temple. It's, that's my temple name. What do you think? It's a, tradition, it's a tradition to have one. I wanted something that had a nice image to it. So I thought, why not choose a bikini? Besides, it makes me seem younger. Okay. So Maya and Pearl approached Nick to to go to the to Hazakura Temple because they needed someone over twenty to be. They needed. <laughs> they basically they needed an adult to go with them, and so she. And then Nick wasn't gonna go. He's like, I'd rather go home and stay warm until. He saw, you know, it's like, that can't be Dahlia. It certainly does. Oh, I sent it for your special course. Wow, my, my, my. Quite great for you considering how cold it is. Young people can be so reckless with their health. Don't blame me if you become one of those. Uh, don't, don't blame me if you become one of those you channel. Reckless? Well, ha, ha. Maybe you should take it easy tonight, Mystic Maya. You can come back for my day. Wait. You went to all the trouble. <laughs> yes, 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 that's right. You've come all this way, so please, enjoy yourselves. There's still time before supper, so why don't you have a look around? So, um, mm, uh, what's a channeling dojo? Fucking stop yawning, that'd be great. <clears throat> so what's a channeling dojo anyway? Oh my my, you don't even know that! Forgive him, sister, he knows not what he's saying. Well, 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 just call me Bikini. Read that sister part. A challenge- a, cha a channeling dojo is basically a spiritual power tra training- power uh, spiritual power training ground. Okay. We have special holy items prepared here to help people to boost their spiritual power. Holy items? If you train an entire evening, surrounded to buy these items. Eh, it's quite mysterious. The spiritual power of these items seems to envelop you. Wow, she must have gone in off the trolley from the land of make-believe. Um, so what is there like on this special course? Okay, you you need to stop interrupting me. Uh, you must be incredibly devoted uh, to be interested in uh, that at such a young age. It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant a spell 30,000 times. All while being showered by a freezing cold spirit water. Uh. It's right now, right? You have to be careful this time of year. You don't want it. If you don't watch it, you'll catch pneumonia or even maybe die of hypothermia. <laughs> so be careful, you hear? How am I supposed to be careful? Oh no, I knew I shouldn't have signed my up for this. You're uh Um, sister, about this picture. Whoa, 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 look at that. I must say look really divine there, don't you think? Oh, um yeah, unforgettable in every way. You mean it? Oh I knew it. The makeup was pretty tough. Put Iris help me out. Iris? The cute little girl in the photo. She looks just like me, doesn't she? We're just a small temple, so she and I run the entire place. Really? The kind of sounds... Sorry to cut in, but, um... This... Iris... Where is she right now? Oh, just listen to you. You haven't come all this way to find, find a girlfriend, have you? Mr. Nick? No, 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 no! That's not what I had in mind at all. Anyway, Iris is in the inner temple, preparing, preparing for this evening. Inner temple? Yes, yes, that's right. Iris will be back up this evening. Why don't you go have a look at the main hall now? Uh, the main hall for now. So she's in the inner temple, huh? Oh. 
Oh, I forgot to examine. Wow, look at the broken old bridge! And the broken down old bridge, Nick! Now everyone, I want you to look at this bridge and remember it well, for it will not be the same ever again! <laughs> anyway, yeah! And look at the big canyon below us. Hey, there's a river down there! It looks like it's flowing really fast! What's wrong, Nick? You look like you've seen the ghost. I'm just not very good with heights. Oh, hey, I've got it. Maybe you should face your fears and try hurling yourself off the edge. You know, one, sure. two, three, jump. It might just be a thing you need to get over your fear of heights. Yeah, that is a real good way to uh, to get over to overcome phobias, all right. Anyway, I'm sure it looks rickety. Sure looks rickety. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sure it looks sure like we're still rich. Can't argue there. Welcome back! <laughs> um, it's probably why it's called Dus Dusty Bridge. Read it again, Maya. It says Dusky Bridge. Well, it's practically the same thing. There's a narrow path off the different direction of that main hall. The sign here is so old, the text seems to have, have vanished. The path leads through a wooden staircase and goes down to the bottom of the canyon. Okay, I'll write wooden staircase on it. Do you really think it's necessary? You'd have to be blind not to see the stairs. Well, it can't hurt. Pass me the pencil, okay? Graffiti is a crime. Oh, did you tell him what happened? Graffiti is a crime, Maya. Come on, Nick! Why don't we hop across the bridge? It, uh, it'll be fun. Because of what's been going on with her? I'm not so sure. It looks like a... It looks like a bunny hopping across would destroy it. Okay, Nick, well, let's try Let's try to find a cute, fluffy little bunny to test your theory. That's right. That, that right there sums up the fundamental difference between sane and insane. Okay. Letters engraved uh, into this roughly cut boulder. D-O-S-T-Y bridge, huh? It says Dusky. Dusky bridge, okay? Come on, Nick! Take a look at the bridge and tell me not it's not supposed to be Dusky. The sign's, all, the sign's wrong, obviously. I'm gonna fix it. Now give me a pencil, Nick. Do I look like a pencil holder to you? <laughs> well, you know. I can't believe there's a public oh, there's a public phone here. Who would ever use it? <laughs> I don't even think bugs would cross that bridge. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably not a good thing. I have enough to chop it. Um. Probably a good thing you told them. The people who live here, I guess, I, d I doubt they have any real fun here. Yeah, but it, it looks like 20 minutes to walk from here to the main hall. It would have been smarter to, if they built the main hall here, don't you think? Yeah, no, bugs would do Daffy, yeah. Maybe you should work on channeling someone who makes logical sense, Maya. It looks like that's a, it looks like uh, it's about 20 guards to that roof over there. I guess that's where the that's I guess that's probably training tonight. Okay, d bugs would do something like that. Do you want to train with me, Nick? And do the special course? I think not. Maybe it'd be so great if you had spiritual powers too. Really? I see dead people sounds more like a cause for alarm to me. Oh, we can't go that way yet. Oh, the 
we're just gonna be gone by tonight. The, the main hall. I think it's even colder in here. Achoo! Ah, oh, Mr. Nick, do you smell that? It smells like meat and gravy. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's a pot roast for tonight. Ugh, gross. Yum! Weird, I thought they would, have, they would serve something a little more, well, personal. What are you talking about, Nick? You think monks and nuns are sitting around eating rice and gruel all the time? Mr. Clan is right. Ooh, I hope they have I hope there's mashed potatoes too. I love mashed potatoes. <laughs> what a cute little acolyte. Greetings to you all. Oh, um, hello. Wow, this thing makes Maya look like a it looks like a six point eight on the weirdness scale. Your outfit! Did you come here for the special course too? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Actually, I'm. Ah! You're. You're. You're Miss Lee's dorm. Yes, that's right. You know of me? M my name is Pearl Fay. I, I. I'm your biggest fan. Who is she, Nick? Hmm. I see it now. Zavari. Fortune teller. I got all your books, Miss Donum. <laughs> What a sweet thing to say. Please call me Elise. Um, books? Mr. Nick, don't you know anything? <laughs> don't you even know who this is? Um, well, not exactly. An author, maybe? <laughs> yes, and an illustrator. A picture books. Picture books, huh? Oh, now I get it. Yeah, 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 he'll be one of those bug. He'll, he'll be one of those bug season and Daffy season. Cross this bridge and it will be bug. It will be uh, rabbit season. <laughs> and then the bridge classes. He's going across the bridge. Then he would somehow bounce up in the air and you know land on the same you know land on where Bugs is. Like how dare you make him cross that bridge? Um, I'm sorry. Didn't know who you are. I don't get a lot of chances to really enjoy picture books. It's alright. I take no offense to that. My books are nothing more than simple stories for children. And really beautiful pictures too, Miss Elise. Your books always make me feel as if my heart's being purified. <laughs> it makes me feel very happy to hear you say that. I have to admit, she certainly seems a, like a kind, sensitive lady. Miss Elise won an award last year for her book, The Magic Bottle. Yes, a friend of mine secretly submitted a story uh, I had written to a publisher. They liked it so much that they asked if it was alright to make it into a book. Wow, it must, have been a great, it must have been a really great story. Maybe I should try to write a children's book too. If I do, you can secretly send, uh, send it to a publisher for me, Nick. <laughs> Recently I accepted a sort of apprentice, you might say. An apprentice? He calls himself Loris. Loris Jonah. I think he's off doing some landscape sketches now. On Loris's behalf as well, I'd like to thank you for your support. Of course, Miss Elise, anything for you. <laughs> um, why did you come to House of Kira Temple? Are you here to do some spiritual training? <laughs> no, that's not it. I'm actually just here to gather materials for a new book about you. Wow, I can't wait to read it. Well, this is completely taken, Mother. I wanted to do I wanted to do a book with a more Japanese feel this uh, this time. So is that why you're dressed dressed like that? Like you are? The children have a certain image of me in their minds. I didn't want to disappoint them. What can I say? She's really a sweet lady. Wow, Miss Elise, you're dressed up like a mountain nun. Yes, the good, the good people here are kind enough to let me borrow this. I'm wearing training clothes underneath my robe as well. I want a staff like that. Oh, you, so you like the crystal fear? It's a real amethyst, you know. Maybe we'll find one like that here on the mountain. Good luck, Nick. I know you'll find one. I know you'll find me one. 
Well, you'll have to excuse me now. I have to... I have to go help with dinner preparations. Wow, you mean you're cooking dinner tonight? That's right. Would you like to help me too, bro? Yes, yes, I want to help you. I want to help with whatever I can. Oh, God. Pearls looks like she just won the lottery. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, I'll help you then. Uh, no, it's fine. Please don't worry about it. Feel free to relax and explore the area with your friend. Uh-huh, but... Oh, yes. Please take this. I think it will be of help with you. Help to you. It's not the area. We wouldn't want you- we wouldn't want you to get lost now, would we? Neither a temple. There it is. On the other side of the bridge. Well, if you insist, I guess we'll take it like, um, well, if you insist, I guess we'll take a chance and go check out the other temple. Okay, I'll see you two later then. Remember, you're not allowed to fight. <laughs> Come on, Nick, let's go! At least we'll stay warm if we keep moving. It's an altar. It looks a bit old, but someone does someone does a good job taking care of it. Speaking of altars, I remember seeing this uh, seeing one like this in Cry Village last year. I guess they really do have something to do with spiritual powers after all. There's a straw zabutin zabutin cushions arranged in the Hapachi Bazaar. Frazier, I was close. Kinda. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I thought so. I haven't yeah. seen a layout like this since I uh, since I saw a really old Japanese movie on TV. If it wasn't for the hibachi. It probably all freeze to death. There's a laughably large magatama on the altar. If I can see Psylocke's with tiny magatamas, that might be the tiny magatama I've got. I can only imagine what kind of powers this, this boy has under his hood. I bet the writing on the on these uh, sliding doors are instructions for spirit channeling. Kinda like how we scribble the math formulas on the bathroom walls well, to remember them. Except we couldn't go to the bathroom during tests, and I can't read these walls. It's a stack of straw zapotin zabutin zabutin cushions. I think I'm pronouncing that right. My mother told me that these types of zab Zab button. It's called huh? The button is called Enza. And I suppose I'd never come here if I'd ever come here. I I'd have missed out on all these new things. All right. Huh? Where did Sister Bikini go? I guess she went to the inner temple. Uh, to go help the other- to help the other one out. Oh, right! I think her name is Iris? Yeah, uh, that was it. I'll find out what her life really is. I'm scared of what I'll find out. What do you think, Nick? Pretty awesome gate, huh? Um, she sure is. Looks pretty ma- it looks pretty well maintained, actually. Uh, the- the thing kind of puts a home- it puts your hometown to shame, Maya. Yeah, well, a lot of things that have happened in Crying Village. We used to get a lot, we used to get a lot richer people back when people hire us to perform channelings. Oh, I see, but now the place is- looks like a bit- looks a bit run down. Mm, I guess it's- I guess I was just born in the wrong time. That looks like- that looks like- okay, that looks like the main hall where we'll be staying tonight. From here it looks like one of those ice hotels you always hear about. They gotta have a heater or something. Don't you think? I don't wanna die. I'm not worried. I brought a hot water bottle. I brought my hot water bottle. Did you, did you bring one for me? What are you talking about, Nick? No one carries- who carries two hot water bottles? <sighs> it's a cold. It doesn't kill me. You're the, the ice queen over here. We'll finish the job. Oh look! It's one of those snow motorcycle things! Most people call this a snowmobile. You know. Snow mo so snow motorcycle thing, snowmobile. Sorry, snow blow meal. <laughs> Same thing. Hmm. Too bad we don't too bad we didn't invite Desiree. 
bet you could race this slowmobile. The race like the way it's slow. Oh, maybe she ever ran on a low snow butt. This is gonna be completely out of order, but that's okay. I told you, it's snowmobile. Huh? What? Oh no, I was getting screenshots. This is the investigation part. Not right now. Jesus Christ. This place is huge. Whoa! That bridge is shaking it was shaking like jello in an earth that bridge was shaking like jello in an earthquake. Earthquake. At least half of the wood on the Ricky Bridge was rotting, I bet. Not to mention the last part had uh had like one board left on it. What's wrong with you? Your face is all green. Can you not pick on me for just one second? I'm still trying to get over the shock that we made it safely across that death trap. Yeah, I guess I'm a bit surprised, dude. Yikes! The temple's in bad shape. It looks like it could collapse any moment. I guess people don't use it too often. Is that really where you're gonna be tonight? That has to be it. It's kind of creepy around here. I think a ghost might jump out or like you or something. A spirit for you? I'm afraid of ghosts? How, isn't, isn't it that- isn't it ironic? Don't you think? <laughs> so that's senior te- that's senior te- in the, yeah, blah blah. That's senior temple up ahead, huh? It looks like it's kind of run down. Well, it wouldn't be very temple-like if it was bright and shiny. So you're- that's where you're trying tonight, huh? Yep. Then everyone will see you. Then everyone will see my spiritual powers. <laughs> Sounds like your stomach wants to show off its digestive powers instead. I wonder if the roast is ready yet. Looks like there's something written on it. I can't read it. If I had to, if I had to take a guess, it say it would say inner temple. What's the point of a sign if I if you can't read it? it must be tough for a mailman. To when he's delivering here. I guess this I guess it's a sign um I guess it is a sign is a good indication of how long this place has been here. Hey, a half open gate. Uh that's practically a that's practically a welcome mat. Yeah, except the sign here says no entry. Um, Nick, rules are made to be broken, you know. Yeah, you expect a lawyer to go along with that? Oh, come on, you're such an old lady sometimes. Just go. Just go. Don't blame it on me, if sister. Bikini puts a curse on you. Hey, I've got me scared. Now, let's just forget about it, okay? I don't care how much you pay me. I don't want to cross that bridge again. No worries, Nick. No one's offering you any money. That's because no reasonable person would call that pile of popsicle sticks a bridge. The ladder, the, the ladder half of it was nothing more than a few planks. Oh, a planks uh, of wood and some string. Hey, if you want to, if you want to get back, we have no choice but to cross the bridge again. You know, maybe I'll just stay. I've always dreamed of living in a little, in a little shack in the woods. Wow, you really are scared, aren't you? I wouldn't want to cross that bridge either. <laughs> I, I guess there's just something about like wooden. I mean, I, I'm sure wooden bridges are safer than metal bridges. But I guess just wooden bridges are just scarier. Because <laughs> like, like metal, it's like it's, it's steel and it's there's a lot more support. This is literally just held together by wood. <laughs> Oh wow, look at these deep wood statues. Maybe I'll take one home with me. Maya! But there are so many! They wouldn't notice if they took just one. Are you kidding me? Of course they'll notice. What are you doing with one of those anyway? Put it in the office, of course. 
We can trade that wooden statue in the office reception area for one of these. You know, come to think of it, where did that wooden statue come from anyways? Uh, what is hey! That's a giant robot- there's a giant robot buried in the snow! <laughs> well, there's something buried in the snow, but I think it's an incinerator. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I admit it looks like a robot. Um, sure. Anyway, I don't think it's getting used much. It's looking pretty rusty. Hey, Nick! Do you think the giant robot cinera uh, incinerator can walk? I told you! It's not a robot! And it's not especially big either. But uh, you have no imagination. I thought it'd be real neat if we had to beat if we had, if I thought it'd be really neat if we had to beat it, beat it to advance. Fight between a lawyer and an overgrown furnace. Could even pay to see that. <laughs> Alright, I gotta just examine everything. No! Inner temple. Move. Training home. Cause this isn't terrifying. Man, this place looks like it. this look at this place. It's just tiny a, just a tiny freezing cold room. So this is where you'll both be training, huh? Huh? What do you mean both? I'm the only one. Really? I thought but I thought Oh, probably it's just a little- probably it's just a little kid. She can handle this kind of intense training. Says the girl who can barely- who- who I can barely hear over her chattering- over her cheap teeth chattering. Anyway, the real training room is behind the door- is behind the door over there. Hmm. Yep, definitely getting the feeling it's back there. Even if I can sense that's something supernatural about the cavern behind the door. Even I can sense, yeah, there's something supernatural about that. Um... Excuse me, but who are you? Uh... Uh... Y your Hi there! We're just looking around since we're going to be- well, since we're going to be staying here tonight. Is something wrong? Uh, or no! It's- it's- it's nothing. I don't know why she's going to like that, don't you, Nick? Uh, did you say something, Maya? Not you too, Nick. Um, my name is Iris. I'm one of the nuns here at this temple. I'm Maya Fay. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. Oh, well, please excuse me. I have, um, chores to attend to. She sure is beautiful. And a bit spacey, I guess. I guess she's just not used to talking to some urban some <laughs> talking with urban sophisticates like us. Nick? That girl. I can't be, but a hanging scroll. Ah! Ah! What is it? Why would you scream like that? This this scroll. It it it's my mother. What? It's Missy Fay, the master of the Cran School Channeling. Are you sure? Yes. The crest on top of the scroll. That's the special mark. Mark of the master of our tradition. So that's what the mark means. What is it? Uh, nothing. It's just that. I last saw her over 15 years ago. If it wasn't for the crest, I wouldn't have known it was- I wouldn't have ever known it was her. My own mother. And I can't even recognize her face. Maya. It's a hanging wall scroll showing Maya's mother, Mr. Faye. It's not that old. The crest on top, though. The crest on top is the official mark of its master. I wonder if the temple has some sort of connection to the Faye family. I think it does, actually. Supposedly, it was founded by the branch family, a, a branch family member of the, of the Korean school. So I'll have to ask Wakini about this in more detail when I get the chance. Oh, Maya. And 
say family in general. The actual training area must be on the other side of this door. I wonder what it's like. Chloe, it's locked. Come on, Nick. You know, you don't even want to open it for me. I can't. You've been kind of in a bad mood lately, haven't you? Zavari! I know what it is. Iris! <laughs> Iris and Nick, sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. There's a bunch of musty-looking blankets and bedding set, in, set piled up over here. I wonder why they're here in the first place. It's because all the spirit, uh, spiritual training is done under supervision of a nun. I wonder if Sister Bikini is planning to sleep here while I train. But if they sleep, what's the point of having them here in the first place? Look at the antique dresser! I wonder if there's anything valuable inside. Let's have a look! Mm, nothing, just a bunch of clothes. Hey, Nick! Uh -huh, oh, sorry, I was just thinking. Oh, about I already said that. Looks like you've been bitten by love bug, Nick. <laughs> if only it was that. Woo, we managed to make it across Dusty Bridge. Dusty Bridge. Nick, you look green. Are you feeling alright? Hey, what's wrong with you? Ever since you we've met Sister Iris and Daniel, you've been really quiet. Huh? Oh, um, sorry. Hey, you, wait up. You think he's yelling at us? He must be. There's no one else around. Would you mind moving? You're standing, you're standing right in my way. Uh. <coughs> hey, I know you. You're- Whoa! Sorry, gotta run! Uh, see ya! <laughs> hey! Wait a minute! Oh, that sounds like a lot of- Hola, nice to meet you! I'm Lori Stone! Liar, you're Larry! You're- you're, you're gonna change your clothes, but you're still the buds! Shut up! I'm- I'm- Lori! And, and, uh, I'm here to do a sketch of Dusky Bridge! So it's really- so it really is our Larry. <laughs> Not that I get why he's pretending to be someone else. So what do you do with the last name Rona? Well, I just wanted to start over again with a clean slate. A clean slate? You remember, don't you, last time? The mask mask case. After that, I started to realize I didn't like this guy known as Larry Butts. What? That's when I came across it. Book of Destiny. Book of Destiny? Do you mean the magic bottle by Miss Lee Stoneham? It was so beautiful, so moving, so so gentle. My heart felt cleansed. I was saved. Maybe I should buy a copy of the magic bottle. Wow, Larry. Wow, Larry would make a great book salesman. I really like that book now, too. She's the most po well, most wonderful person I've ever met. I'd follow her anywhere. Well, she certainly is a very elegant lady. You see? You see? Here's a photo I took of her in secret. Wow, that's, be that's a beautiful photo. You want a copy, don't you? Yeah, it's okay. I just happen to, I happen to make extra prints. So how is everyone's day today? What'd you guys do? Uh, family was visiting, so we were visiting family. We made poopy pies. Uh, we also watched Ace Attorney again for the third time. And I have to show Lance season two so he understands what the hell's going on in this trial. Uh, <laughs> and all the trials, so I'm gonna be watching Ace Attorney a lot. It's funny, it's a good thing I really like the show. <laughs> um. It's actually, actually, there's only two seasons of the show, which covers all three of the first three games, so it's actually very- it's, it's a good show. Um, it really is. Still, it's kind of hard to imagine you as a picture book illustrator. So, 
Tell the truth. You must have some kind of ulterior motive, right? What are you talking about? I, I don't... I don't trust anyone anymore, especially not women. Talk about a bad case of denial. Anyway, can you even draw well enough to make a picture book? Art isn't only technical skill, you know, it's also about having a view of art. And that's why I'm asking. Can you draw well enough to make a whole book? Mm, now that you mention it, I wonder. It looks like you still have some doubt in your heart. <laughs> it's true, I do, but when I first saw her, I felt it. I felt something in society be ended and something else began. Oh, Larry, it sounds like you've fallen in love with Miss Lee Stoneham. No, you're wrong. It's not her, it's the other girl. Other girl? Uh oh, I got a feeling about this. Oh, yeah, her, my little Iris. She's really pretty. That girl, she's perfect. She's exactly my type. I wonder if she's- I wonder if she's ever model me. I wanna draw portrait of her. Yeah, you always like those model types, didn't you, Larry? Wait, wait a sec. Didn't you just say you were swearing off women? Uh-huh, uh, yeah, that's right. Of course I have. I have, basically, but... But... But, Iris is different. I feel like... I feel like I still have one chance left of, at that F3. This guy will never change. Everyone! <laughs> hey, Pearly! Their preparations are complete. Please come quickly to the main hall. Alright, I can't wait to dig in, Pearly. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna go to the inner temple and call Sister Iris. I also wanna have a look at where Mrs. Maya is gonna be training. Seven forty-six p.m. Boy, am I stuffed. Ugh. Are you sure it's all right that you ate that much before your training? Well, this kind of training is a battle of endurance. Mystic Maya, please don't do anything that might put your health at risk. <laughs> no pain, no gain, I guess. Aww, I'm still worried about you. Well, well, well. Let's not dilly dally. Uh, let's not dilly dally, shilly shally. You must get ready for tonight. Good luck, Maya. Alright, here I go. I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Iris, please ring the bell at 10 o'clock before lights out, alright? Yes, Sister Bikini. And then, after ringing the bell, I want you to come join us at the train hall. I understand, Sister Bikini. <clears throat> Maya and Bikini seem really excited about training with this training thing tonight. Well, Pearl, what are you going to do tonight? Well, um... If you'd like, you can come to my room. Perhaps we can read a book together. Really? I'd love to. I am not very good at reading. <laughs> well then, would you like to practice reading with me? Uh, I'd love to! I'm absolutely smitten with this note. So, Larry, uh, what are you going to do? What? Huh? Me? Uh, well, I'm just gonna hang out in my room. Can't stand the cold at uh, all. Oh. Totally hear you there, pal. Um, Miss Elise, for example, how do you read this? It says gravely. That's kind of that's a it's kind of a tough word. Oh, okay. And what about this word? That's not a tough one. It says roast. What kind of book is she reading anyway? Well, I'm gonna go wash the dishes and help clean up. I'll visit you when I'm done, Miss Elise. Well, not much to do except head to my room and huddle under the covers, I guess. Mmm, <laughs> it's a whole different type of cold in the air in the mountains. Oh, I would. Why wouldn't the nearest bathroom just be a little close to my room? Mr. Wright? Uh? Oh. Oh, ugh, oh, Miss Donum. Are you going to use the bathroom too? Oh no, but have you seen Pearl? No, not since after dinner. I thought she was- I thought she said she was- I thought she said she was- bleh, 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 bleh. I thought you- I thought she said she was going to your room. No, but she never showed up. I'm going to look for her. Excuse me. 
recently shown a woman, a woman of a mysterious origin. Oh. A woman as mysterious as the origin of her last name. But the really mysterious one is... Oh! Uh, Sister Iris! Good evening! The real mysterious one is this, is this girl. Um... Are you on your way to use the bathroom too, Mr. Wright? I can't let this chance pass by me. I should try and talk with her, and maybe get some answers. Um, you're Sister Iris, right? Yes. So, um, where did the- uh, uh, when did you come to Hallsbury Temple? I don't remember. Ever since I was a small child, uh, the temple's in my home. So you've never left? Well, I don't have any family left to take care of me. Sister Bikini, I've come to think of her as my real mother, as it were. Uh, you see. But didn't you go to college? And maybe enroll into the Ivy University, I Ivy University, the mission department? No, I never had interest going to a big university like that. My training is, uh, <clears throat> is all the education I need. I, yeah, I see. But once in a while, when I got the chance, I'd make the trips near my town. I can use a computer and a cell phone too. It's not exactly something we're bragging about. Well, I don't see any sidewalks. So I guess that means she's not lying. Please don't stare at me like that. Oh, what kind of place is this anyway? Oh, so all um. So there's this site for Animal Crossing where you can look up like specific patterns. Uh, you know, for like you can like look up like Ravenclaw, Slytherin, you know, you know. And I just just like little fun patterns. And I'm like, you know what? For shit's grins, grins and eagles, I'm gonna see if uh, they have Phoenix. Someone made Phoenix Wright patterns. <laughs> uh, yeah. And actually, somebody I was looking up you know because that was actually the first one that came to mind. Of course, it was. Well, I mean, well, also, unfortunately with this, it's not like you can look up Phoenix Wright and get the general Phoenix Wright consensus. It's like, the name Phoenix Wright is, you're gonna, like, you're, I didn't say anything Phoenix Wright, but I was like, look, you're gonna get everyone who called something Phoenix Wright. Right. Well, anyway, somebody made a, a thing for Godot, and then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna grab that, and then I'm like, oh, wait a second, I wonder if this person made other stuff. You know, it's like, because you're not just gonna make one character, like, if you're in something, you're not, you're not just gonna make one character. Right. So uh, it turns out that this person ended up making like Edgeworth, Francisca, uh, Athena Sykes. She made stuff for Pearl and Maya. So I grabbed, uh, I grabbed Gudo. Obviously, there was nothing for Phoenix, but I, I grabbed Gudo. I grabbed um, Maya, Pearl, and I grabbed Edgeworth. Um, and um, yeah, and then she made yeah, Francisca, and then one for. Uh, yeah, like shirts. Um, so yes, of course I went for Gudo first. But I mean, <laughs> unfortunately, it's that was, it, it, I I think I went for Gudo one because his name was my first, but also his name is very clear, concise. It's one word. It's not like Miles Edgeworth. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I, I found that, so I'm excited. No, I, I, I'm not, I don't like Phoenix Wright at all. I'm very picky with things, so I mean... I mean, yeah, I might like stuff, but it's like... If I truly like a show... Like, I love Ninjago. Um, that's a show I really like. I love... I love Phoenix Wright, love Scooby-Doo. I'm very picky with things, so... If I like something, I, I mean, I guess it has to be good. I don't know. I, I honestly, and yep, it, it, this is kind of like until Dawn of the Become Human. I didn't think I'd actually like this as much as I did. I just got the game because I'm like, oh, I saw these YouTubers do a musical on it, and it's on sale. We'll grab it and check it out. <laughs> and I uh, ended up liking it, and then um, I have both season one and two now. Actually, I'm looking at season two right over here. Um, but no, yeah, no, I'm very picky with shows, um, games, movies, um, so it's just kind of like I'm one of those things, but, uh, 
I, I really do. I just, I like, I really do like Phoenix Wright. I think it's, it's different. <laughs> I heard it's just, I heard, I, I heard it's trained for training to increase your spiritual power or something like that. It must seem awfully crazy to normal people like you. Uh, well, I have to admit it, it's a whole different world up here. I'm glad to hear you say that. Well, you're talking with dead people. Who, who does, who does it help anyway? I hate it. Really? Talking with dead people? It's helps me on multiple occasions. <laughs> so why would you say a voice like this? Uh, is something wrong? I, I didn't realize it was so late. I have to go and ring the bell for lights out. I guess it's almost done now, huh? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? If it's alright with you, um, I would like you to take this. Is this your- oh, this is your hood. It has the power to protect you from evil spirits. Uh, I don't think of it. Evil? Uh, <laughs> Sister Bikini was wearing one of these, too. I pray for your safety on this dark, cold night. I'm sorry, but I must bid you good night. Wait a minute, Sister Iris. Yes? Just now, you called me by my name. You said Mr. Wright. How did you know my name? I never introduced myself to you. Th that's Sister Iris, please, tell me the truth. You and I, have we met before? Amazing! Yeah, I knew it was gonna be a lot. <sighs> Iris? Oh, it's, it's almost ten. Um, perhaps we can speak again uh, tomorrow. Bong, bong, dong. Sorry. My hunch was correct. She does know me. Let's try and talk with her again tomorrow. Ugh. Ugh. What was that? What was- what the- the blood curling scream came from the courtyard? The scream sure came from around here. Ugh! Someone's there! On the ground? Miss Totem! Squish? I just stepped on something soft. Hey, you don't step on my tummy like that! Uh, I- I did- I passed out! What do you think? So the blood spurling cream was- scream was you? I forget about that! Hurry up and call the police! Is there even a phone in the main hall? No, but- No, we still have- we still have your reception in here in the mountains! You must have- well, you must have- you must have a cell phone, right? I, um, didn't bring it with me. You're useless! I mean, even Iris has a cell phone! We have no choice, you have to use the public phone by Dusty Bridge! Hurry, hurry! Hurry, run as fast as you can! Uh, yes, yes ma'am. You don't hurry, Iris will- Iris will- oh, That's farther than I thought. Ugh. The bridge is just up ahead. I don't know what tell what happened. Ugh! Bridge! It's burning down! What the heck happened? What are you doing here? Uh, uh huh? What is it? Is it me? Don't scare me like that, Larry! I almost had a heart attack! My name is Larry, it's Maurice! Larry, hurry up and call the police! It's I'm going to the Iron Temple! Don't be stupid! The bridge is nothing but a burning wreck right now! Listen to me, there's been a murder! Here at Hustle Curry Temple! What? The murder might. The murderer might put across the bridge. I have to make sure Maya is safe. But please, call the police! I've gotta go! Get out of my way, Larry! It's too dangerous! Nick, wait! <laughs> it must have been crazy. I knew how dangerous it was, but still went for it. <laughs> Nick! <laughs> By the fire, the bridge planks snapped and gave way. 
and I was swallowed by the eternal darkness that surrounded me. A uh, final terrified scream rose uh, to pierce the frozen air of that harrowing night. <laughs> ah, such a fun time. Because everything bad happens to me. Who could it be this, night, this time of night? Yes, Edward speaking. Edgy, get up, it's an emergency! Huh? Larry, do you know what time it is? It's not Larry, it's Larice! Larice Donum! This is nothing more than a terrible nightmare. Just roll with it and. Wait, do hang up, it's an emergency! It's Nick! He, he- he took a really nasty spill! Well, it wouldn't be the first time. I'm not joking! His life is in danger! What? What happened? Tell me! Sorry about guy who can look, you may already be dead! <laughs> anyway, you gotta come back! You're, you're the only one that I can help! My Iris! My beautiful Iris! She needs help! Alright, I don't know what's going on, but... I'll be there as soon as I can. Ow! Phone. I'm in the detention center! Please, hurry! It's been a year since I left my country. I thought I, would, I wouldn't have to see him again for a while. Sounds like it won't be a pretty reunion. As if I expected, as if I expected anything to change. Yeah, no. Pretty? Reunion? <laughs> You're late, Edgy! How did- how long- what took you so long? I don't want to hear it. I charted a private jet so I could come as quickly as I could. Well... You should have charted that- chartered the faster one! Anyway, just listen! Something happened to Miss Elise, and Nick is- Maya and Iris is bikini! Huh? Say something, Edgy! <laughs> Before I came here, I stopped at the hospital and paid right to visit. I believe me, I have a better understanding of the situation than you at this point. The murder victim was the picture of a gother, Miss Lestola. She was found by she was found by right and had none. The, the suspect is the young uh, is the Temple's younger nun. And then later, while Wright was crossing the bridge, he broke the pound the river. Last will says that he'll need at least two days before two days of bed rest. And yes, that, 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 that's right, you got it! But they arrested her! My sweet little Iris! And here I was convinced he was the one the police had arrested. However, I still don't understand what these two items are for. What are you talking about? The things Wright gave me when I was leaving his room. This is the first. He said some nonsense will be able to see people's hearts like this. And the other he couldn't possibly guess me what I think what I think he is, could he? I'm begging you! Iris's trial starts tomorrow. When they got out of the picture, you're all I've got left. You're the only one that can represent her. What'd you just say? You know, represent, defend. What were you expecting? Why didn't I called you anyway? Larry, I'm a prosecutor. Do you understand what I'm saying? A prosecutor is a lawyer who doesn't talk to me like a little kid. I graduated from junior high, you know. Don't worry about it. I promise I won't tell. But I, I mean, I, I, I heard a paper badge. 
I have, I, I heard the paper badge had no problem pulling the entire cord before. <laughs> How could this country's ju judicial system have fallen in such decay? <laughs> Please, Edgy. At least listen to her. Listen to Iris' side of the story. So why it wasn't Jeff who really gave me the badge after all? <laughs> Guess I have no choice. Choice but to defend you. Hmm. Thank you for coming. But in the end, they just kicked the asses. Yeah. I, well, I know that they're they're different. Maybe they did that. I think this is funnier. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't like understand what the hell's going on. Thank you for coming. My name is Iris. Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. I don't know if I can help, if you have any help, but I will at least hear, hear what you have to say about the murder. Um... Mr. Wright, how is he? Mr. Louis said that he, he, he might even die. Fortunately, he will be fine. Larry, you moron, how can you say something like that? He was badly bruised, but when he hit the water, he was otherwise unharmed. Thank goodness. But he's caught some kind of nasty cold. A cold? He's running a high fever and drifting in and out of consciousness. I must be imagining things. This woman, I feel like I've met her before. Pardon me, Iris. I would like to ask you something, if you don't mind. I, I, I was trying to channel the anime voice for Edgeworth, but I can't do it, so I'm just gonna do the voice that Vance does. I have a distinct, a distinct feeling that you and I have met before. It must be your imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. After all, I, I hardly ever leave Hasakura Temple. Hasakura Temple? What's that? It's a place for those who wish to boost their spiritual power from the train. You need to undergo some very difficult training to release, uh, to release your inner spiritual power. Spiritual power? Did you go, did you go to the temple for that reason as well? No, I don't have any spiritual powers. I don't need them. In that case, what are you doing at the temple then? I, I've committed some sins, sins I need to pay for. That's why I'm there. I, I like to the train to purify out my soul. I want to ask you about last night, when I took the prime. Alright. I had a health clean up after dinner, then I went back to my room about me. Later, I left my room to ring the bell for my dad. Bell? We ring a bell at the same time each night. I see. And then? And then... I was told to go to the training hall, but I went back to my room and stayed there. Why didn't you go to the training hall like I arrested you? I, I was frightened. Frightened? So I just stayed in my room and I stayed in my room to meditate until the murder happened. There's more to this. There's more to this. <clears throat> there's more to this story. Uh, there's more to the story, just know it. Maybe I should dig a little deeper. You were asked to go to the training hall on the night of the murder. Yes. However, you didn't go because you said you were frightened. What exactly were you frightened of? <laughs> what in the world? Uh, is there something wrong? I'm, I'm sorry. It's nothing. It looks like she's not even aware of it herself. This must be what I was talking about. Cyclops. I believe he said that I need to present this Magatama item to do something? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't wait till Phoenix is better. So, do you have any idea as... Is, uh, but that, do you have any idea as to what really occurred late last night? I think it was the result of a tremendous spiritual power that was unleashed. Spiritual power? Yes, spir uh, spiritual training. 
has been has been a cause behind many great tragedies. This incident was just another example. Iris, I'm sorry, but I can't accept that. I'm a man of science. I don't believe in spiritual powers. Yes, I understand. Most people don't. And I'm certain that the thing that killed... And I'm certain that the thing that killed... Uh, the victim and was a human. So please answer me this simple question. Were you the one who killed Elise Dono? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not the one who took the light. Hmm. The sidewalks aren't appearing. I suppose that means I can believe she's not lying. Yeah. So what's wrong? I can't believe what I'm thinking. And here I just finished saying I don't believe in spiritual power. Hmm. It appears... <laughs> It appears that that's about all you can tell me. Thank you very much for listening to my story. I visited her at the hospital before coming here. He asked me to take care of you. Of me? Yes, at the trial tomorrow. He asked me to defend you. If Mr. Wright has that much faith in you, Mr. Edgeworth, then I will gladly entrust my fate in your capable hands. Before that, I have one question. Yes? Do you know Wright? Uh, why would you ask that? Whenever you came up in conversation, you began to act a little strange. Mr. Hedgeford, what is Mr. Wright to you? He's a very dear and indispensable friend. Yeah. <laughs> it was five years ago. That's when I... That's when I deceived him. You deceived him? I heard that he was in a lot of pain afterwards because of what happened. I know I'm a weak person. I am. That's why that's why I thought it was best to never see him again. I never saw him again. I wanted him just to forget about me without learning the truth. Well, if you ask me, Wright is still suffering. And until he learns the truth, I don't think he'll ever truly be able to recover. Iris, it's not too late. You should go to him. Tell him the truth. I'll defend you, but only if you only if you agree to that one condition. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. I promise. Very well. I'll do everything in my power to get to get you an acquittal. That's enough information gathering for now. I should head to the crime scene. So we still need to do the second. Uh, move. <laughs> and the entire time and, you know, they're up in the mountain somewhere and you know <laughs> that's longer than uh what you call it yeah uh crying village exactly i still had to laugh it's like oh crying village is about two hours away by train well you know you go back you go back and forth from, from crying village to wherever now you're going in five seconds I know. ten minute recess <laughs> Okay. Judge, I need a, I need a four hour and ten minute recess. Oh, let's go to Crime Village. <laughs> and then Pearl, my God, poor little Pearl. When it's two hour by train. When it's two hours by train. <laughs> Dusky bridge. <sighs> oh, it's sure cold, all right. What's he turn Irish? It's gone. So this is it, Dusky Bridge. Oh wow, it's you, Mister Edgeworth. The Detective Gumshoe. I'm not no see. It's been about a year, it hasn't been longer. It doesn't matter, Detective. So. What's what's the matter? What what does matter is why you're uh, why you're shuffling all around up here? Oh, ouch! Yeah, that's a sharp left jab. Well, I'm happy to see you anyway, Mr. Edgeworth. Let me guess, you were transferred by charge of the local precinct. My decision. The vast amount of nothing up here should that uh, e should be quite easy to guard. I heard you were back in the country, Rich. Come here. Come, come all the way up here. Come all the way out here. Everybody was real nice. They even let me take charge of the investigation, sir. I'm shoe indeed. Like gum on a shoe. 
It's impossible to get rid of. Oh, I might need your help with the trophy. Uh, it's a... There's a trophy, uh... Oh, he's hard. <laughs> Jesus. Ace Attorney Trilogy. Oh, I thought there'd be something fun here. Oh, as 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 Edgeworth, I, I hate childhood friends. Here, all of Larry's childhood. Tales. I have to get this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Well, actually, I'll get this one. But I need to get Justice Ill served. I don't want to. And then I need to grab... I need. I think I need to do the one in, uh... Thingy. Uh, Rise for the Ashes. I think that's the ladder I missed. But, I need to, re I need to replay through uh, the ladder one. Because I need to replace my entire trial for Lunchbox Specialist. Or at least a good portion of it, so that's gonna be fun. And I have to redo that trial again, because I have to get all of his trials. Alright. What's this one? Oh, Bridge Turnabout. Yeah. But I want to platinum the game. Alright, I suppose it was, I suppose, I was supposed to report the details of the suit of the crime team, sir. Anyway, here I am, Detective Dick Bums, reporting for duty. Great, um, thank you, Detective. I thought Prosecutor Godot was gonna, was, uh, was gonna get me here, um, I thought Prosecutor Godot was gonna get here before me. That guy's a real mess right, I'm just trying to tell you. Prosecutor Godot? I just got back into the country, so I really don't know much about this case. It's simple. Well, well, simple as a simple does, as they say. Simple as a simple does, as they say. Oh, you've got no idea how much I missed that fighting sarcasm of yours, sir. But seriously, this one's a piece of cake. There's a witness that saw the whole thing. A witness? Yeah, that bikini lady. Bikini lady? Here on this freezing cold mountain? Well, you, you should talk to her. You, you should talk to her yourself if you want the details, sir. I may have to talk to the bikini lady. I may have to talk to the bikini lady. I mean, decisive witness myself. So this is the bridge that Wright fell through. Yep. I can't imagine being that reckless myself. Look, before you cross is uh, how it goes, right? Or, or was that leaf? And is there something on the other side? Yeah, some old building called the Inner Temple. Well, we can't get over there without a bridge, sir. What? No one lives there, so it's usually not a problem. But someone, if someone was at the Inner Temple doing some training now, they're stuck there. Yes, I heard that from right. It's my Faye. Oh no, her again? Anyway, the air is really turbulent right now, so we can't do an aerial extraction. No one's gonna be able to reach the air temple until tomorrow, sir. You should not like this bolt. So how did the bridge burn down anyway? Well, I was 100% sure it was lightning. Lightning? So, who is this prosecutor Godot? I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's a new guy. He showed up after he left the country. He's a complete rookie, but no one can say a bad word about the guy. What kind of a man is he? He just became a prosecutor recently. But he's good, sir. Real good. He's so good. How is it I've never heard of him? Is, is he the lead prosecutor on this case? You bet he is. After all, you know. You, you know who. It's right in the middle of it. You know who? Phoenix Ray, of course. For some reason, Gido has really got it in for Mr. Ray. Oh? Yeah, he seems to have some kind of, some kind of grudge. But... What would cause it? What would cause What would cause scratch? I don't know. Maybe he made fun of his mask or something. <laughs> no, this is making any sense. I'm very looking to this video myself. 
they're telling me that the bridge caught on fire due to a fluke bolt of lightning. Yep, last last night it snowed for the first time in three days. It's a little, it's a little unusual for lightning to occur during a snowflake like that. But according to the weather data, the lightning definitely struck. Hmm, I see. This is a very detailed weather report. Almost too detailed. It even has the exact time the lightning struck the bridge. Oh, that? Oh, we got the information from the witness's testimony. Someone already- someone actually saw the light the lightning hit the bridge? Who was his witness? Sorry, I'll ask- I'll go ask the local cops later, sir. Is Larry gonna be there? Yeah, you gotta present your Yo, Reggie, what took you so long? It's so cold, my brain's turned to shiver. I knew it was a mistake to race back to this country. But uh, what do you mean? Right's going to be fine, but the gate itself just isn't anything unusual. And I find myself taking the request to find a woman accused of murder. Hey, wait a sec. Hold it! Objection! <laughs> What's going on here, Mr. Edgeworth? Um, it's hard to explain, but one thing led to another, and... What kind of lame excuse is that? And you call yourself a defense attorney? <laughs> <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, the defense attorney. That's just that's just plain weird. That sounds plain weird. Out oh, weird. Plain old weird, pal. Right, Prosecutor Edgeworth. I'm not sure what role I'm supposed to be playing anymore. Hmm, dude, Edgy. I don't see what for, I don't see you for a couple of years, and your heart turns into shirt. Your heart turns to sherbert. I'm more of like a sorbet. It's rather sorbet. It is rather cool here. Iris didn't murder her. Someone else did. I just know it. Okay. So, so just trust me on this one. You're rather romantic, aren't you, Larry? Nevertheless, I'll do whatever I can to prove her innocence. At least, at least until I can pass the back of the baton on to pray things. Come to think of it, well, when, when you were a kid, you were, you were a hawk? Waiting for what? Mom? I'm I, wherever I'm looking at a computer. No, I didn't see the flashlight. We've actually got a lot of thunderstorms recently. Well, I know it's summer, but normally we get scattered thunderstorms. This is like the third thunder, third or fourth thunderstorm we've had in a month. I, I, usually it's like we get like maybe like two two a month. This is the fourth we've had this month. It's just it's I mean it's I I'm sure it's not a big deal, it's just weird. Kind of think of it, when you were a kid, you were always saying, when I grow up I wanna be like a lawyer and defend people. Something like that. That was a long time ago. But now you've But now you've got a chance to follow your boys a dream for a day. Edgy, you've got you, you gotta do it. Gotta save my little iris. <laughs> this is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Oh, again? Yeah. I must have been next time I see how I need to present it to you. I didn't wasn't it all childhood stories? You hear all of his his and Larry's childhood tales. Man, I'm telling you, Iris is so cute. Right, Edgy? You think so too, don't you? What's wrong? Why are you so quiet? <laughs> to put it simply, your comment has me highly concerned. Could that be the reason you think she's innocent? Come on! A girl like you can't possibly be a murderer. <laughs> Dahlia! <coughs> 
bitch. Sorry. That no, no, that's No. He knows Dahlia. So does Edgeworth. He was the prosecutor in the trial with Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Both, I mean, technically both of them lost? What's this? Oh, in, uh, I guess in uh, Concord, New Hampshire, there's a aerial flood advisory going on. Okay. Come on, a girl like you can't possibly be a murderer. No, no. It was right after all. I should never have come back. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. I see how things are. Real, I, I see how things really are this time, honest. If I had a penny for every time you said that. It's just that, well, Iris is a delicate flower. You can't force things too much, you know what I mean? Uh huh? I have no idea what you're talking about, Larry. Oh, uh, er, forget it. Uh, I didn't say anything. Larry, where were you? And what were you doing on the crime? Larry? What? Don't, don't tell me. You think I'm you think I have done it! What? Get lost! Get back to on your charter jet and get out of my sight, you creep. I hope your plane crashes and you die. I'll ask you one more time. On the night of the murder, where were you and what were you doing? As I suspected, Psylocke. Psycho Locks. Psycho Locks. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. Now I know how right. I wonder how right feels whenever he sees those. I'm sorry, man. You know me. No, I just don't remember. My short-term memory is a wreck, dude. Yourself is always welcome. Uh, if circumstances weren't so tragic, I might just. Please don't call me boy. I I'm sorry to trouble you, but I'm looking for a woman in a bikini. Well, you found her! Now what can I do for you? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't see any bikinis. <laughs> if you ask nicely, I might, I might give you a peek, big boy. <laughs> oh, Mr. Edgeworth? This is the head nun, Sister Bikini. She's the witness. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? This is exactly why your salary keeps getting cut. Ugh, my salary's already growling in protest. So, um, uh, sorry. So, um, what's the latest about, our beloved, about my beloved Iris? Well, first I want to hear what you know. Well, unfortunately, between the fan and the rain on the ACA, I mean, I can only hear local loud ones. First, I'd like I'd like to ask you about last night. Well, well, last night we had an, we had an acolyte here for training. After dinner, the two of us went to the training hall in the inner temple. She must be telling you about Maya. Approximately, what time was that? Well, I suppose it was around. Oh. Nine o'clock when we left here. The training lasts all night long. It's, an, it's extremely exhausting. Channeling JoJo's head nun must be in attendance uh, at all times to keep watch. Oh, you're right. It does, it does sound exhausting. Detective, this is no time for flattery. Sorry. Sometime around 11, you witnessed the incident in the courtyard, but your duty was up in our temple. Did you not? Why did you come back here? Hmm. The way you're staring at me, I'm getting goosebumps. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm staring at goosebumps myself, but for a decidedly different reason. <laughs> you got the chills. You got the chills pretty easy. Uh, pretty easy, don't you, Mr. Edward? Yeah. Okay. All right then. I'd like you to tell me exactly what you saw in the courtyard. I was coming past eleven. 
Uh, no, I can't say. It's too much for my poor heart. Hey, calm down, lady. I let go of my tie. I saw two people. One of them was lying on the ground. The other one was stabbing her from the back. With a sword. Did you see the criminal with your own eyes? Uh, did, yeah. did you see the criminal with your own eyes? I didn't want to believe what I was seeing, but it was Iris. What? <laughs> I know, right? You must have been quite shocked. Of course she was! Try putting yourself in her shoes. It'd be like... <laughs> It'd be like... And I have to know what it is. <laughs> a witness stand. I'd be pretty shocked too. I know it sounds insane, but that's what I saw. And when I finally realized what I was seeing, I screamed and then I passed out. Unfortunately for us, your testimony seems pretty solid. However, the idea of Iris doing such a foul act seems unnatural. Unnatural. <clears throat> the girl I know simply isn't capable of that sort of foulness. I wonder what she means by that. <clears throat> As the head nun is your duty to stay with the accolade at all times, uh, correct? Yes, that's correct. <coughs> I know I may look strong, but the truth is I've got bad lower back pain. A bad lower back? Yes, it's especially bad in the winter, so bad I can't even lift a bucket. Do you remember how cold it was last night? My bad back felt, uh, felt as stiff as frozen glass. I just wanted to take a nice hot bath to ease my aching back. That's why I returned to the main hall. So you left the discipline alone? Oh, don't be ridiculous, I would never do that. That's why I ordered Iris to the inner temple. After she had rung the bell for lights out. Yes, but she never went to the inner temple, did she? So the headman actually saw Iris there. I think I better get some more details. So, who was the acolyte uh, that was trained in at the inner temple? Her name is Mia Faye. I treated, uh, I treated her very badly, and ashamed to say, after she went through the trouble of signing for the special course. Special course? It's a training session where you sit on a block of spirit ice and chant 30,000 uh, 30, times. You don't mean to tell me she's doing that? Uh, she's doing that over uh, over at the inner temple, do you? No, 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 no! Of course not. You don't have to. Oh, I saw lightning there. <clears throat> you don't have to worry, I'll look up a little bit. Last night, we still hadn't started the training session itself. Well, um, <clears throat> that's good to hear. Oh dear, dear, there's one more thing I forgot to tell you. Uh oh, I don't like the sound of that, sound of this. Do you know the small girl? I believe it's Mystic Maya's little sister. Maya has a little sister? Oh, you mean little girl. That's Maya's little, that's Maya face cousin. Little girl? I thought she was going to visit Miss mi visit Mystic Elise after we finish up the dinner cleanup. But I hadn't seen her at all last night. She's nowhere to be found. You mean she she was with the victim? It was all my fault. My stupid creaky old back. The little girl was with the victim of the night of the murder. It's gone? As they say, the blood thickens. That thing! I didn't even notice that. There are more Enzo cushions in the corner of the room. What's with the white piece of paper sticking from under the, sh under the stack? Um, beats me. Would you mind checking that for me, Detective Capshu? Yes, sir. There you are! Uh, here you are, Mr. Edward. Looks like an old vanilla envelope. Ah. What is a detective? This. The 
this could this could be an ultra important clue, a super special clue. I suppose I should read it for myself then. Looks like a letter addressed to Sister Iris. It's night at 10 p.m. A heavenly hall. Unless you want your secret to be exposed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize how much blackmail was actually in the series. Um, Lance hadn't seen the first two trials of Phoenix Wright, so he was lost because he started playing it during the Steel Samurai. Well, so there's blackmail in the first and the, the second <laughs> trial. There's blackmail in uh, Turnabout. No, not turn. Not Turnabout. Goodbyes. Uh, Turnabout Samurai, the Steel Samurai. There's there's blackmail in the um Stolen, stolen Turnabout, farewell my turnabout. You could even dare say there was blackmail in um Yes, that one. There's so much blackmail in this series. Jesus. Oh yeah, of course. For who? That's also blackmail then. Let's go with there, Mr. Edgeworth. Why can't I ever find clues like that? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're an ultra important prosecutor, super duper prosecutor. Well, I suppose it takes a super duper kind of dump to miss a clue like this. <laughs> oh. This is where the murder took place, sir. Other than removing the body, we left everything here untouched. Everything else untouched. Thanks, detective. I'll just have a look around. Looks like the police are still investigating. Oh yeah, by the way, I thought I'd be better ask, just to be sure. Are you really gonna defend the nun, Iris, at the trial tomorrow? Yes, I will. I gave her my word, and now I must follow through with my commitment. Well, in that case, I've gotta be careful. Gotta make sure I don't leak the prosecution's whole investigation. Don't worry about it, detective. Just keep your mouth closed, and I think most of it will, will flow out on its own. <laughs> you got it, sir. I'll make sure it flows <laughs> like water from a tap. Yes, you do that, detective. Just how much, much, how much has your running spell leaked over the years? I'll examine everything. Ah, I love skiing! Really? You don't um, too like to type. Well, what about sleds? Sleds? Ah, they're a little too kidding. You know, messes with the hard boiled image. What's with the silence, Mr. Edgeworth? Is the world starting to go mad? What's this? It looks like a wizard stuff. That belonged to the victim. That belonged to the victim as Elise Donum. Oh. One second, Oh, he's going to bed, we're saying goodnight to him. Ooh, what are gonna be the emojis for tonight? Let's do a cat? Uh, a tent? And, um, uh, this flag is really cool. Can I tell you what flag it is? No, but it looks cool. That belongs to the victim, it's least Donum. There's something strange or magical about it. Oh yeah! Listen- Listen. This is just between us, okay, sir? Yes. What? The stuff's are your stuff. Don't tell anyone about this. Alright. The truth is, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a wizard. That's it. That's what you wanted to tell me. That's it. The staff is made of a very strong pillow. What about the fingerprints? Were there any on it? Just the victims. Oh. It's 
the lantern is supposed to light the way at night. I'm so elegant about that light of the play of the fire. At the end of each month, I always like to relax in my room by candlelight. Detective, can you not afford to pay the, your electricity bill? And how did you know? You know, him and Wright have something in common. Apparently they, they can't pay the bills. Which is surprising with the clients he's had. I mean, besides on guard, but... Will Power should have paid him. No, 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 in the first part. In uh, the first game. Maybe right this pro bono work. <laughs> so the sword from the golden statue is actually the murder weapon. It sure is. It's called the sushi. It's called sushi, by the way. Nasty piece of work, sir. There's still blood on it. There's still blood on it. I suppose it's something from the blood? Yep. It's all over the blade. Speaking of all over the blade. There are fingerprints all over the hilt of the sushi sword, too. Fingerprints? Naturally. They match the prints that we got from uh, the younger nun. Our fingerprints are on the murder weapon? Ow. What's wrong? You're looking really solemn. This is how it is for right? Is this what it's like to be a defense attorney? Yeah, I figure it doesn't feel really good. To be honest, it feels more like it's a detrimental to your health. <laughs> The main gate must be all over the stone wall. Ah, stone walls. I jumped over a few of those in my time. Oh, some were are good memories, but not all. Detective, perhaps someone should introduce introduce you to the concept of paucity of of words. I just love skiing. Really, you don't um, seem like the type. Yeah, well. What about sleds? Oh, sleds, nah. They're a little messy. through Miss Lee Stone. Her entire past, up until she won the writing award last year, is a total mystery. It's hard to believe that in this day and age you can still find people like that. This made a time of death between 10 and 11 p.m. on February 7th. God's of death was blood loss resulting from a stab in the back by the murder weapon. The murder weapon? The victim was found skewered by a giant sword sir. Terrible. Yeah, that's but there's one strange thing. Yes. The victim's entire body was covered in bruises. The bruises are consistent of falling from a height of a two-story building. A two-story building? And that would be and that would be about the same height as the room in the front of us, correct? Hey, you're right. There you go, Mr. Edward. That just happens to be the room where Miss Stone was staying in. Maybe she was pushed from the window. After she was stuck by the sword? Now then, detective. Let's see if we can summarize what we've learned so far. Okay. Take a look at the map. According to the testimony of Sister Bikini, that nun, right after they finished dinner, the uh, She is really way through the inner temple. <sighs> if only the walk was actually that fast. I think they said I think Nick said it was a 20 minute, a 20 minute walk. At 10 p.m. Uh, 10 p.m. after ringing the bell lights, Iris went to the inner temple. Oh. 
So when she got there, Bikini had, but when she got there, Bikini had taken over while she went back to House Four Temple. After taking hot baths to her back, Sister Bikini witnessed a murder in the courtyard. If you want more details, you should ask Bikini herself in the way home. The other temple, huh? I'd like some more information on this place. The trial begins tomorrow. And but who's the prosecutor? I'm pretty sure it's like a dope guy, but nobody can get a hold of him, so they're looking for a replacement. What do you mean? It's really weird, all of a sudden no one can reach him. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if the rumors are true. Maybe since Mr. Ray caught a cold, he won't be defending. He just lost interest. I intend to appear in court in this role as a defense attorney. However, it would be quite unhappy if the fight came out and there was actually a prosecutor. Yeah, I can see why. But I'm not, uh, but I'm, uh, but I'm not one you, I'm, I'm not going to have to worry about. I think the real problem is going to be the judge. Yes. Certainly, he would certainly remember my face, oh, even Lord. after, Why even after hard? such a long absence. That's why I requested. That's why I requested that I try to preside over the trial tomorrow. We only manage another once. There's a good chance he won't, he won't remember me at all. Yeah, but what about the prosecutor? Everyone in the prosecutor's office must know you. Wouldn't it be a problem if someone else made a big stink, sir? There's no need to worry. I pulled a few strings and arranged for a prosecutor of my own choosing. Wow, oh, Mr. Edgeworth. I had no idea we had such a powerful string to pull. Why isn't the inner- what, uh, what, what is this inner temple that Maya was supposed to be training at? According to- according to Bikini, Maya, oh, uh, it's an old building they use for training- for training the acolytes. But it's on the other side of the bridge. The bridge that burned down, huh? Is there anything else on the other side of the bridge besides the inner temple? Nope, not a thing. Nothing? The inner side is surrounded by cliffs on all sides. And in, in a way, it's kinda like a little island out there. So the only thing there is is the inner temple. I hear it's not a I hear it's not a kind of place a person can survive in. It's not right now. Okay. Oh wait, do we need to speak to Larry? Uh, actually, I wonder if we can. Hmm. I don't see Larry anywhere. Maybe go scared the poor kid away. His hair is shut tight with the psycho locks. <laughs> I guess I'll have to look. I guess I'll have to look for him now. What a thorn on my side. Oh. oh, that was Yeah. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth. I came back because I need to ask you a few more questions, if you don't mind. But I, I already told you everything that I... Iris. Please remember, I'm not- I'm on your side. You can tell me anything. Yes. Thank you. Alright, let's see. I'm guessing Iris Hood is involved. Well, no, so I'm, not, I'm, I'm trying to get Sonic. Okay. Oh, okay. I was right on the note to Iris. <laughs> Hi. Can I... Oh, I want to do something with you. Yeah, I you have nothing. Take that. Oh, I wanted to listen to a Miles say take that. Since I've been handled to this case, I have a duty to dig up all the answers. Understood? Yes, sir. The smallest flame can sometimes bathe a cat 
be the case in a whole new world. In my years in court, I've seen it happen over and over again. And that's why I've committed to searching until that's why I've that's why I'm committed to searching until I have the those answers. Now then, is it really true you didn't go to the inner temple last night? Uh, yes, I swear. I already told you that. Yes, you said that because you were frightened. Yeah, that, that's right. Hmm. If that's the case, then it's all then the obvious question is, what were you so afraid of? Iris, I wonder. Is, uh, is, is, is it that you were frightened that so much you couldn't use this? Is this what frightened you so much that you couldn't leave your room? Take that! Take that. I found this in the main hall. It is addressed to you. Uh, that's... Well, Iris? Why, why are you glaring at me like that? You were scared of, a black, the, of the blackmailer who wrote this to you, is that correct? Uh... Was it the evidence that broke the power, or the glare that broke the lock? <laughs> oh well, I don't suppose it matters either way. M Mr. Edgeworth! <coughs> yes? I, I thought this letter was someone playing a prank on me. A prank? Well, yes. After all, even if I did have a secret, there's no way there's no way there's no one to tell it to that would be able to cause any grief. Hmm. I wonder about that. Sister Bikini uh, is like a mother to me. I would never hide anything from her. No. You may not have ha you may not have anything to hide under normal circumstances. However, last day it was different. Unfortunately, I don't know the exact nature of your secret yet. However, whatever it is, there's one person you don't want you didn't want your secret told to. Grade school I fell into fell from Dusky Bridge and is currently hospitalized. Homicide detective at the local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. My friend from grade school, I don't remember how we became friends though. <laughs> the victim of the incident is the picture book author, author of, of unknown age, Larry's teacher. The defendant, a nun who of Hasakura Temple, doesn't seem to have any power or have any spiritual power. Prosecutor uh, ignore this case. He apparently holds some sort of grudge against right. <laughs> the head of the House of Cora Temple discovered the murder. Her bad, ba her bad back really bothers her. <laughs> Once a year in Temple for spiritual training, and now is trapped there. Maya's cousin was apparently the victim. Was the victim at the time? Was apparently with the victim at the time of the crime. Currently missing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Wright. Uh, you mean, you mean something, you mean something Phoenix, something to Phoenix, it seems, coming to Wright. And I can tell he holds a special place in your heart as well. That's why you didn't want, that's why you didn't want him of all people to know your deep dark secret. Well, what do you have to say? I should have expected as much, especially from a friend of his. <laughs> After dinner, the letter was waiting for me in my room. As it said, I was I was I was frightened by it. What is this heavenly hog letter mentions? It's a small mountain shack at the base of the uh, at the base of Dusky Bridge. A small shack, huh? It's more than a broken down shack, but no one would ever want to go here. Hmm. Where is it on the map? It's around here. Um you must follow a small path down down to Dusky Bridge. In reality, uh uh, it, it, the reality is, to get to the inner temple, I had no choice but to cross the bridge. But I thought it was such a terrible- I thought that such a terrible criminal could be lurking in Heavenly Hall. I was- I was scared by the whole affair. I didn't even want to think about it. So, the 
this was the secret that you locked away in your heart. Yes. Looks as though I may need to visit this heavenly pool now. Maybe I'll just find some sign of a our mysterious blackmailer. In any case, you still claim to have never left your own last night. Yes, that's exactly right. And the trial starts tomorrow. I promise you I will win. I'm going to win and you and Phoenix can see each other again. But, when I do, you must promise me that you will tell him your secret. But it's pointless. Why would you say that? Because I may know who Phoenix Wright is, but he has no idea who I am. What do you mean? I finished speaking to the head nun at House Court Temple. She testified very clearly as to what happened. She said that she saw you stab Lee Stone with a sword. And one other thing. She said that when Maya Faye began her training at Peter Temple, you were there as well. What? When I spoke with you last night as you claimed that you never went to Inner Temple, and yet Sister Bikini says she met with you at the Inner Temple that very night. But I... I didn't go there! I didn't go to the Inner Temple last night! I wonder who lives here! <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Whoa, not much of a view down here, huh? Still better than the view from my apartment, though. Husks. <laughs> Someone's here. Hide yourself, detective. Oh, why, why, why? Why does this always happen? Whenever I find a girl, I like they always run away. I even chased one of one of them to Japan. Next, it's gonna be prison, I guess. I'll steal that detective's wallet. That'll get me a little for sure. Nah. I can't do that someone who looks like he's down on his luck. He's just talking to himself. Shush! Be quiet and listen. I knew it. I shouldn't have done that. I blew it again. I'm not. What do you do out there? Hey, you! What, what you just said. I got an objection. What? What the? Edgy! You dirty rat! Oh, shoot you oaf. I'm sorry, sir. Before I knew it, I was shouting out an objection. And it was loud! And a loud commanding voice. I even pointed my finger, too. You've watched too many trials. I'm sorry. Okay, Larry, the jig is up. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh -huh. This whole way of Sasuke Bridge is pretty long, but an easy walk. I fell down four times on my down here, sir. Oh, sorry about that, detective. I ate four bananas and two sir pills on the stairs on the way down. What? So that's what I was slipping on? Be careful on the way back. On the, on the way back, those silly banana pills are still out there. Mm. The real important piece of information, just right, there, right, there, uh, information right there, Mr. Edgeworth. So this is Eagle River. This is Eagle River, sir. It runs pretty fast, uh, so it doesn't ice over, it was even in the winter. If it iced over, it would have been serious trouble. You're right, about, you're right about that. It would have landed on the ice, slipped downstream, and who knows, who knows where. Not exactly what I meant, but alright. I will. Huh? Okay. I'm too bad you're like... That's a horrible grief gra graffiti problem you've got there, right now. You don't know anything, detective. This is art. It's a bit of an expression of my bittersweet love for Iris. Larry. You do know the difference between graffiti and true art with a true artist? It's how the artist himself defines it, right? I should have known coming. Well, if that's the case, all my lunch boxes are fry are masterpieces too, pal. The straw roof is totally covered by freshly fallen, freshly fallen powdery snow. 
Oh, that makes a nice image, doesn't it? I always did like the rustic look. Heavenly Hall. Sorry. Heavenly Hall. I suppose it's the appropriate... The, I suppose it's an appropriate name. It's so, uh, in so... In some sense. You're on it right. Look at the bridge up there. That place is, has to be heaven. But that thing is hell. You would do well to remember that area. This is a sacred place to some people. It's a little far, but I have a pretty clear view of Dusky Bridge from here. Uh, I still can't believe it, really. What is it, Larry? Huh? Or no, nothing. It's nothing. Sounds pretty. Sounds pretty uh, suspicious to me, pal. Something about that statement smells. And you know what they say. What's with the festive-looking ornaments? It reminds me of art class in grade school. We used to do. We used to have a lot of fun decorating the classroom with our Bobby, Remember? Oh, it's for the trophy. Black. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, for sure. Well, I... Oh, yeah! You were never in you then. Really? Yeah, this guy was so bad he couldn't even pull a dollar, let alone a crane. Everyone tried to comfort him. They would just sit there sobbing. Really? I'd... Be quiet already! <laughs> and I'll never forget the shame of that day. You want a crane? I can make a perfect quarter-inch crane without a single flaw. You know, Edgy, nothing for nothing. The quarter inch crane is without a single flaw, it's not easy. Yeah, it's quite a feat, Prosecutor Edgeworth. This is exactly why I hate childhood friends. Those were the only two ones. What's this little shack anyway? Well, I just discovered it myself yesterday. And why. What were you down here? Down, uh, what were you? Uh, why were you down here in the first place? Ah, come on! I'm an artist. I was looking for a good place to sketch. This is a great little place, or er, artistic. It's er, artistic. It's, it's quite cold. I've got no power, and it looks like it's about to collapse. Sounds like my apartment, pal. What makes you sure? Okay. Well, I'm sure no one was likely to show up in the strip from here. So I can get something. Uh, so, can I get you something to drink? Some hot water, maybe? He's getting all buddy buddy with us, sir. Listen to me, Edgy. You've gotta do this. You've gotta save Iris. Why are you so sure she's innocent? Because she's cute? Watch your mouth. Anyway, I've made up my mind about it. I'm gonna marry you, that girl. Yeah, I'm good. Um, Miss Archworth is pretending he didn't hear you, so I'm gonna ask for him. Have you already asked this girl to marry you? No, no, not yet. But I can tell she feels- I can tell she feels by the look in her eyes. She's got this- I really want to marry- I really want this man to carry me over the threshold. I'm sure Nick would be surprised. He never imagined I could marry a beautiful girl like that. Something tells me he would be shocked and beat. That's why I didn't want her to do anything dangerous. I mean, what was the, what, what am I gonna do if she gets hurt? What was this guy trying to say? He lost me a mile back. Mm, if we really want to know the answer to that, we're gonna have to drag him in, uh, drag him out to the witness stand. Come to think of it, you haven't answered my question. What were you doing here last night? Uh, man, no. Don't you have so anything else to talk about? Uh, with that kind of attitude, you'll never, you'll, you'll never be a ladies' man like me. Oh, okay, okay, chill out with the, with those scary eyes. I've got it. The worst part is I can picture the scary eyes that he's doing. If you really want to know, last night I saw something incredible. Something incredible. Falling asleep on me? Yep. No, that's fine. Um, that's yeah, but let's not talk about that now. Let's talk about a good let's talk about the good old days. What do you say? Come on, I'll pour some nice a nice cup of hot water. Why hasn't he realized? I absolutely just 
despise talking about the good old days, especially with him. The night of the crime. Alright. Now you're gonna tell me what you really saw last night. Whoa, you're really upset, aren't you, Edgy? Okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. Huh? That was a bit too easy. Yeah, yeah, anyway, it was awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Though around 10 o'clock last night, I had I started thundering. I've been asleep, but I'm not sure I'll I'm not sure for how long. Suddenly, zing! The whole world went, uh, in front of me went white. And like that, I slapped... I, I've been slapped by an old girl. Like my old, my old girlfriend, Naomi. And then... <clears throat> and then, the bridge was on fire. The, 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 the bridge was on fire. Dusty bridge was on fire. Are you saying you saw the burn in the eyes? Yeah! Why are you giving me the other line? Tell the truth! That means he's using his suffering rights. Well, by the way, Larry. By the way, Larry, where were you? Uh, what happened? Uh, where were you when you saw that happen? What? Where did you say that? What do you mean? I mean, what do you mean? What do I mean? Just answer the question. I was in my own room. At the, by the way, no. Where else would I be? As usual, you're as transparent as a jelly. The problem, <laughs> I suspect, lies there. There? What, what do you mean, there? It's impossible for you to have seen lightning strike from the dusky, the dusky bridge from your room. Take that! This is an up the area. Take a look around at the vicinity of Hazakura Temple. What am I looking for? I think it should be fairly obvious. The main hall is surrounded by trees, and it's impossible to see the bridge from here. What? You don't mean to tell you- uh... Why didn't you tell me that before? Well, what about it? Huh? What about what? Do you feel like talking now? About what? It looks like he won't- he won't be that easy after all. Has Nick had to do these cycle locks with Larry before? Not with Larry, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Plus, uh, stolen turnabout. Um, oh, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so did you choose. I did House of Temple. You leave me no choice. No, you didn't. Oh. You have no problem with that. <laughs> I'll have to move on to the next step. You were in your room, so then, where were you? You don't know. <laughs> I wasn't in was my room. You don't know. I was in my room. So where was Larry when he was there? If I read the if I read the situation up to this point correctly, the answer is fairly obvious. Very well. Let's test my theory. The place you went a lightning strike was here. Take that! The place you saw lightning strike from was, uh, from was naturally Heavenly Hall. Oh, why would? Why would I be hanging out with this old shack? It's freezing cold, there's no electricity, and it could fall apart by any, at any minute. Larry, how do you know that anyway? How do you know there's no electricity after all? It's not dark yet. Uh, oh. In other words, you pro you have provided enough evidence to prove my theory. My theory that you could, you, uh, that you've at least once in your life visited Heavenly Hall after sunset. I feel bit impressed at you. Uh, you're in a totally different lake from Nick. That's nice. Now tell me. What are you doing in this cold little shack at night? Uh, that's, what might, that's what you might call a fair decor. I think you mean a fair decor. Decoro? Could it be that you were waiting for someone? Oh no. Uh, you, you really... Here I got you know. I believe last night you were waiting for this person to come meet you. Take that! And the last one you're gonna present the note to Iris. 
there's only one person you would have wait waited for some horrible place, Larry. I told you before, don't call me Larry. The person you were waiting for was Iris. Oh, suddenly I feel cold all over Reggie. No doubt about it. Uh, uh, no doubt about- uh, no doubt because my chilly glare. You confess you murdered Elise Dona? <laughs> So you think I so you think I got the house for Sister Iris, huh? Do you have some kind of evidence? You got something that proves I was waiting for her? Are you is that what you're guessing? This is where I draw this is where I draw the line in this particular little game. Here's the evidence that proves that you're waiting for Iris. I, I I'm sure you know this already. But uh oh. But if you're playing as Miles, uh, and you hover off, hover over everybody, uh, it shows different text because now I'm playing as Miles. You know, and it, I just think it's kind of neat how it all changes. <laughs> and it's just funny how he thinks, as he's just like takes it, that he's just like, you know, taking it how he sees it. And the uh, House of Quarter Temple discovered the, her murder, bad back, her bad back really bothers her. <laughs> Prosecutor for this case, who apparently hold some sort of grudge against Wright. Oh, you- oh, so cool. I'll go through again. My friend since grade school fell from the dusky bridge and was currently hospitalized. Homicide detective at the local police precinct in charge of the initial investigation. <laughs> I happened to read it, uh, I- cause I, you know, I was- <laughs> I was playing over, um, I was- I was over early- I was playing over earlier and I was- I was, I was uh, Maya, Pearl, Mia, and Godot, and I was like, and, uh, cause Galaxy was in chat, he was falling apart, but technically she's nine, and I was going all for all their ages, it's like, Maya's ten, uh, Maya's nineteen, uh, Mia's dead, Godot's unknown, <laughs> Pearl's nine. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, the victim of the murder, the victim of the incident, a picture book author, unknown, uh, unknown age, and Larry's teacher. The defendant... Uh, the defendant in the Hospital Temple doesn't seem to have any special, any spiritual power. I heard that one. Went to your temple for a spiritual training and now is trapped there. And Maya's cousin was apparently with, was apparently with the victim of the time of crime. Perfect. You could also say that too. I, I, I love those designs. I like everything about them, but you, you know, sorry. But they just kind of need that they did this. Anyways, I have to present the note. Something I must talk with you about. I'll be waiting for you saying that I'm gonna have to Make sure you come unless you want your secret to be exposed. Okay. What? <laughs> secret! And Larry, if you think blackmail's gonna get someone to fall in love with you. You know, I never realized how much blackmail was in this series. <laughs> Seriously. Here's your evidence. You call her to this spot with a pathetic with a pathetic blackmail letter. Oh uh, hey! Give it back! You're embarrassing me! What are you doing with that anyway? That's not important. I misjudged you, Larry. What do you mean? Taking advantage of one's uh, frailty like that. You should be- Huh? Frailty. Oh, frailty. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, oh! First of all, what is this uh, top of the letter? Saluta it says salutations here. Well, that's- um, that, that's what's said in the book, Letter Writing for Dummies! Look at the Larry. Jesus Christ. You're not supposed to actually say that! That was- That's where you're supposed to say, right, Dear Iris. Ah, I'm so sorry! Larry, you really are just something special. There's no other there's no other word to describe. I don't know. So you were here in Heavenly Hall last night, weren't you, Larry? 
And you saw the lightning here from Dusky Bridge, didn't you? Sorry, Edgy. Sorry doesn't cut it, scumbag, you scumbag. Hurting a young lady like that? Well... Wait, hold up! What now, pal? What are you talking about with... What threatening stuff? I'll tell you what, you tried to scare Iris by threatening to expose your secret, pal. What do you mean, threaten? What did I threaten her? Unless you want your secret to be exposed? That sounds like a threat to me, pal. Blackmail. Blackmail effect. Give me a break, it's a love letter. Haven't you ever been in love? <laughs> what? What did you just say? My love for her burns so hotly, it could melt all the snow on this mountain. Oh, oh? The, what is this mention of your secret? Oh, come on, Eddie. Don't you get it? I'm talking about the secret of love <laughs> between her and me. Obviously, she went about that old bikini lady you know about it, right? About a hot and sour bitter sweet love affair. <laughs> All right, then why did you send a love letter in your business like Manila envelope? Give me a break. It's not my fault. I didn't have any other envelopes. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Then why were you so quick to apologize, pal? It's because Edgy gave me that scary look of his. But what's what's wrong, Edgy? You're all quiet all of a sudden. That's it? That's all the huge locks were about? I, I don't understand why you're being so why you're so defensive. Well, I don't know either. This is the thing is, oh, maybe I was all supposed to be Edgewood talking. Oops. But you shouldn't expect too much from, too much from a guy like me. Hey, come on! Don't- don't let it- uh, don't let it get you down. Mr. Edgewood. The well, guy's still hiding something, they know it. What do you mean, detective? Don't forget what this guy said just a minute ago. I saw something incredible. Hmm, he's right. Larry. What? You're looking like you're looking at me like you're a hungry a hungry dog that's found a bone. I What do you mean? What is this something incredible you saw last night? You're going to tell me, Larry, one way or another. You didn't I? I, I saw a lightning strike at Dusky Bridge. Yes. I believe it was an incredible sleep you saw. But now that I now that I think about it, something doesn't quite ring true. Uh, what doesn't? If this is all there is in your story, your heart wouldn't have had all those locks. Therefore, Larry, I don't believe you saw something last night. I do believe you saw something last night. Something more incredible than just lightning. What? When? Where? Why? How? Hey! What do you think you're doing? You can't hide anything from Mr. Edgeworth. I'll arrest you on the spot, pal. Uh, uh. Five! Sir, you see that do all over again? Why are you glaring at me like that? <laughs> uh, like I'm the next <laughs> by full of lightning. Mm. Mm, I've just have I've just uh, had enough of this whole thing. If I really wanted to have the truth out of him, I would just have to drag him out and drag him to the witness stand. Larry's just at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's all. That's all he is. <sighs> I just realized something. And I can't unsee it. Larry, Larry, Larry. 
What are we gonna do with you? Salutation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do, do you really want to question Larry? No, 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 no. Larry is his own special. Movie. Oh? What would that be? No, it's just, it's something I can't say on stream, but something I'm definitely going to be telling my mom. After I after I end the stream, which I will be ending it now because it's actually a really good point to leave it. And so uh, next yeah, time, I just... next, next time yeah. Mm -hmm. So. He's a he's a special kind of song. Uh, yeah. Tonight's stream was kind of a. I wasn't like I wanted to start the trial. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, also, it's yeah. I, I like this trial. This is like my favorite. This is my favorite trial in all. This is my favorite trial in the third game. Probably one of my favorite trials in all of the games. Yeah. Well, you find just you find out so much, and for me, the highlight of this trial is you get the wrap up of Pido, and I think he's just an amazing character. But. Oh, I, I mean, I think, like, depending on the information, depends on whether you're more interested in the, like, the, 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 the family history or Godot. I'm more inclined to like Godot, but I just like his character and his story more. Um, so I think that, to me, is more impressive. But it does not take away from the fact... No, it doesn't take away from the fact of the, the, um, the story of uh, the, the family tree. Yeah. But I, I, I understand why she died. I don't agree with it, but I understand why she died. Again, we will get to that part later. So. Actually, I don't know if I told you why she died. Yeah. I'll also tell you that too. Uh, because I was, um, what was I reading? I was reading something. <laughs> I actually have many more questions, but again, I will ask those questions at a later date and time. <laughs> once we get more farther along. But I can't wait, because once we do the trial portion, then my favorite part, like one of my favorite parts of this trial is coming up. So, I, I like this trial because you play as everything too, but um, no, it's the, the, the trial is, um, the trial is pretty cool. It's, or the after trial of this part is really funny. Not really funny, but it's fantastic. Well, it's part of it. And this is a part I've, I've been wanting to see in the game for a long time. Because I actually saw the show. I've seen like, all the seasons of the show. Oh, speaking of which, we were actually watching it today. I was going to watch it last night, but I ended up playing Dead by Daylight with a friend, which is what I'm going to do now. Oh, yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah, I wish she didn't die either, but I understand why. So. Well, the double blood hunt came, uh, it came out today. And plus, I have to log in and claim my blood points or rift shards. I can't remember. Anyways, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, so streaming this week is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, we have family coming up, so we're either going to stream or not stream. I'm not sure what it's going to be. Uh, so we'll play it by year. We'll see how it goes. Um, there's probably going to be no morning streams. I can probably guarantee that because we'll probably be by the pool or just be over there hanging out. Night streams, however, that could be up in the air. So um, we'll see how it goes. Um, anyways, thank you guys for joining us. If you're new, do hit follow. Um, actually, Sir Frank, if you want to talk Phoenix Wright, message me on Discord. Because I will say, honestly, it is nice being able to talk Phoenix Wright with somebody that actually kind of understands things. Like, and it's not like my friend Lance, but he's, he's slowly entertaining, but he hasn't seen it. He doesn't know it. It's just being able to nice to talk to people with it. And my mom knows too. Oh. But anyways, um, have a good rest of your night. See you all at some point in the mysterious void that will be it. Yes, you did. I saw that.
Um, but I'm gonna go hop on Dead by Daylight, try not to die. Um, I have to look for glyphs, that's what I need to do. Joy. Anyways, <laughs> have a good rest of your night, and we'll see you guys all whenever we see you. I'll stop stalling now. <laughs> see you guys later.